Now the biggest question I have been receiving by far is Blade. With Team Affinity Season 3 coming out, with all these new cards we're getting, with all these new collections we're getting basically, is it still worth it to actually go ahead and do the Life Series collection? Is it still worth it to actually go ahead and do the Mariano Rivera collection? Is it still worth it to actually go ahead and do the Shohei Otani collection? And I'm going to dive into each and every single one for you all. Now, when we're talking about the Life Series collection, this is what you have to pay attention to. The Life Series collection is not just, hey, you're getting yourself Chipper Jones, Alfonso Soriano, and getting yourself, last but not least, David Ortiz. You're getting yourself a lot more than that, and that a lot more that you're getting is gonna help you out tremendously when it comes to the long run, when it comes to us getting another signature series, Mariano Rivera, type of player coming out in the future now granted this mariano rivera card is not the best in the world and there are a lot better relief pitchers for example that alex reyes that came out in team affinity season three that could definitely overpower this mariano rivera so you don't need this mariano rivera on your team i don't even think you need that shohei otani on your team or prince fielder on your team to be completely honest because you can probably get some first basements from team affinity three like nicholas castellanos that are gonna do just as much if not more than those cards especially if you like their swings now before we dive into all of this all that i ask is for you to hit that like button and red subscribe button as well so going into live series first we stream each and every single day at 1 a.m eastern i forgot to throw that in there when it comes to the west like i said you're not just getting those diamond cards you're getting cards from specific sets like breakout second half rookie rookie that later on are going to be necessary they are going to be useful and you're gonna need them for collections just in case they bring out a 99 roberto clemente and if the reason you're playing this game is you want to use eventually a 99 roberto clemente or for example let's say that a rod was in the game which he's not Let's say that you wanted to use a 99 A-Rod or Mickey Mantle because he's in the game. 99 Mickey Mantle and he's only available through collections. You're going to see that in the long run. Oh snap. If I would have went ahead and completed collections, me obtaining that player would have been a lot quicker. It would have been a lot easier and it would have been a lot cheaper because once Mickey Mantle comes out, for example, or cards like that come out, then you're going to see some Life Series players go ahead and shoot up in price because everyone knows that everyone wants to get those Life Series players in order to get the missing second half, the missing breakout, the missing rookie in order to complete it. And then you have to also look at the big rewards that you get for completing them. So you're getting six, keep in mind, six Legends and Flashbacks per division that you complete. Same thing goes for the Central all-star veteran and rookie and then you're getting yourself a breakout ernie banks that's another six legends and flashbacks that are going to be tremendous help here you get a prime card a postseason card and then another postseason card we go to the east another six so in total there are six divisions six times six you're getting 36 legends and flashbacks all from different sets that are going to help you throughout the game the only ones that you do not get from this i believe are signature series or award cards those award cards come later on alfonso soriano now we have in total 37 you add david ortiz now that's 38 in total and then last but not least you get yourself chipper jones that's 39 legends and flashbacks from different sets that could go a long way in terms of helping you out in future collections whether it's for an inning program whether it's for a postseason program which they might add since they're doing an all-star program whatever programs they add down the line you might need these cards and these cards might be the deal breakers on whether you get them or not now like i said previously is it worth it to be completely honest with you all even though those players might be juiced out of their mind and they might be excellent players if we continue getting team affinity season fours if we continue getting these free diamonds from monthly awards and diamonds in general it's sad to say but although yes chipper jones is an end game card 
Although, yes, Alfonso Soriano is an endgame card, and although, yes, David Ortiz, all of them are endgame cards, meaning that you can have them throughout the entire year, and they are going to be better than most of the cards, they aren't going to be standing out like they did previously in previous games. So, although, yes, they are endgame cards, they are not worth it as they were in previous games. What I still do them 100% because it makes life easier for you down the line. But is it mandatory if you play this game casually and you don't really care about using a Chipper Jones? Because this is the only 99 Chipper Jones you're ever going to see. Only 99 Alfonso Soriano you're ever going to see. Only 99 David Ortiz you're ever going to see. So unless it is not in your desire to 100% play with those cards, you don't have to do it because you're going to have plenty of cards that are going to be able to at least do half of what those players can do if not an equal amount or more than half to 90 percent of what those players can do the same thing goes for the mariano rivera collection if you do the live series collection the mariano rivera collection is going to be 10 times easier for you to do you might just have to go and get another signature series player but if you're doing your daily moments you'll have that you might have to go and buy an awards player, but if you're doing your daily moments, you'll have that as well. This Mariano Rivera card, as I said previously, it's not exactly an endgame card because every time I use him, he's out here getting smoked. Now, yeah, I only have 2.2 innings pitch, but I haven't seen much top players go ahead and use him to say the least. But this Mariano Rivera card is not 100% worth it. It is not necessary. You get a ton of relievers from Team Affinity 3. You've been getting a ton of relievers from Headliners, and that's all you really need. With those relievers, you can literally go into any game and feel comfortable. Not only that, but you also have the ability to go ahead and put a starting pitcher into the game. So relievers are important, but they are not as important as they were previously. And that Mariano Rivera card in general is not even as good as it has been in the past. Or even in the past, it wasn't even good. Because everybody knew how to tee off of him since he was in something called Moments Extreme, which will be coming out later this year as well as conquest extreme so make sure you guys keep an eye on for those things now when it comes to this ryan sandberg is he worth it 100 why do i say 100 because in order for you to get this prince fielder all you have to do is complete your team affinities and our team affinities worth it 100 because those are free cards you're getting for just playing the game out naturally like you don't even need to stress out and kill yourself to complete each and every single one to 100 in order to get prince fielder you can just play out the game naturally through battle royale events and rank seasons and eventually you're gonna fill each and every single one up to 100 and be able to have 30 of these team affinity cards in order to get prince fielder now is this shohei otani worth the 500k plus stubs that he's currently worth maybe even 700k the truth is no he's not but might could he be part of a future collection that makes him absolutely be needed yes will there be cards that will rival whatever that future collections reward is yes will this card be cheaper in the future because they will be adding home run derby and all-star game packs to inning programs as well as conquests yes so all of those things keep in mind i don't think shohei otani is worth the amount of stubs that he is currently at i think that him not having the right field as a position and us being able to use them as some people use their caps where they just switch the position to shortstop and then have the cap playing shortstop for four games and then they put him back inside the bullpen and the cap has full stamina because he has been playing each and every single diamond dynasty game that way would have been the only way i would have seen this card 100 worth it yes he is an amazing hitter but team affinity season three jacob Degrom is an amazing hitter as well yes this is shohei otani the face of baseball right now along with fernando tatis jr and ronald acuna jr i would say but this card in this game at least will only be usable every five games now imagine this you hop into a game they see it's shohei otani they quit out you're out of luck you're out of luck because you can't use that Shohei Otani for four more games. A card you just spent 500K plus on, you can't use it for four more games. The only way you could still use them as an effective player is whenever your pitcher comes up to hit, instead of using a bench bat, you use him as a pinch hitter. So that's, that's like the most useful way this card is. It is going to be a starting pitcher that has a bat, 
but if your opponent is rocking him you're gonna have to take him out 500k stubs just went down the drain at least with a hitter like chipper jones you're using him each and every single game and you know he has multiple at bats in a game but if i'm facing you and i score six runs off of Shohei in the first you're gonna take him out or you're gonna quit he's not even gonna get a chance to bat and then like i said the only other way to use him is using him as a pinch hitter so to recap it all I believe in the long run, the collections will be worth it for future rewards. But if you're not in this game to be a collector, to collect every single card, then no, it's not going to be worth it. Get stubs instead of purchasing these cards in order to have all of these players and just use the cards that you have fun with and continue playing the game casually because the rewards that are going to be coming out in the future are going to be able to rival and do if not more than half exactly what these collection rewards are going to be able to do like we got eduardo cabrera jose ramirez those are budget chipper jones that might play just as well as chipper jones depending on how much you like to swing the bat with them now if you did end up enjoying today's content once again like button or subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all my socials have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next